More cameras, more mics. Uh. Um, well, great win for our guys. Um, I, I have a lot of respect for San Jose as a team. I mean, they had Boise beat at Boise. Uh, Mari Moore turned the ball over when they had a layup, and, and they could have won that game easily. They're very much, obviously we are too, but they're very much improved. Uh, Tim's done an amazing job of, you know, adding some key pieces to go along with Amari Moore, who I think is one of the best guards in the league. Our guys were great. Um, first half, they were terrific defensively, um, maybe not as good offensively, and we were way better offensively in the second half. We were smarter, uh, moved the ball a little bit better. Um, got some more assists and did some things there. So uh, it was a good game overall. The, the crowd was awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, just proud of these guys to be able to go from an emotional win at San Diego State, come back, be all business, take care of it, because um, we knew that San Jose would be tough to beat. So great win. I know they're more defense than they are offense, but like the 26.5% shooting the first half and to hold them overall under 34%. What, what was it specifically that you did to, to keep their percentage so low? Um, you know, I thought our staff did a great job of preparing them uh, with what they try to do. Um, you know, I mean, they're going to try to get into the paint. We did a good job of adjusting the way that we were helping and the way that we were guarding ball screens. I think the biggest thing that we're really starting to do is rebound the ball. Uh, we're, we're getting Because they're plus 10 in the glass, and um, we were obviously plus 12. So um, that's been a big key for us. They shot 31 threes, which is scary. Um, but I thought we were there for a lot of it and uh, covered it pretty well. Uh, I think I think they're a really good offensive team. They run some good stuff, and they put you in a bind, and, and they've got size that we don't have on the perimeter, so we needed to be really aggressive at getting to those shooters, and I thought we did a good job. Kind of like San Diego State, they're a team that they don't want you scoring on the inside. They'd rather you shoot some threes, and you, you guys still have 24 twos tonight. And I know some of those are mid-range, and those are a little deceptive if you're just cutting up twos or threes, but like – you guys are scoring in the arc, and I'm curious if that, that's just about what you guys do or if you saw something that other teams weren't exploiting with them that you were able to get inside. No, I mean, honestly, I think um, a lot of it has to do with MASH is so good at it. Um, KJ's pretty good at it, too. You talk a lot about MASH and his mid-range. I think KJ's actually very, very good at it as well. Um, we did a good job of sometimes driving seals and being able to get to the rim. I thought House did a good job there. Um, so n nothing really that we saw versus them. Um, we thought they'd trap some things, and they did. You know, when they have a week off, it's always scary. Um, but offensively, we, 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 we just tried to attack what, what they were giving us, and um, there was good balance overall for sure. So how would you like being mic'd up? Did you kind of have to, you know, watch what you were saying or anything like that? Uh, uh, I hated it, um, but I didn't have to. You know, I'm actually – I don't, I'm not a huge swearer by any means. I mean, I'll do it every now and then. But um, so I, I was it was a bit of a basket case last night, um, and then when the game happened, I felt good. So I was really just what I was worried about was I didn't want to add any extra elements that were going to make something difficult for our guys, um, especially with the season that we're having. You know, when Steve Shear, who, who's a good friend, came up to me, it was in July, um, and I didn't know where we'd be sitting. You know, but I just thought, and, and with everything, honestly, when, when people ask me whether it's to speak locally or do a clinic, like, I appreciate that. Um, I, don't, I don't take that for granted. Somebody wants me to do something, they feel maybe I'd be good at it. That is a privilege uh, that I don't take lightly. So I did not enjoy it, uh, but it brought some, you know, spotlight to, to our program. Uh, I didn't change the way that I coached at all. Um, cause you know, I, I rewatched some of them and you could tell some coaches that did and some that didn't, and I wasn't going to do that. Um, you know, so overall, hopefully brought some great exposure to our program and, and I'm, uh, I'm very happy it's over. I asked, uh, Mash what would happen if he were mic'd up or if Jalen were mic'd up. What would we hear from those two? Well, Jalen would be a disaster. Mash wouldn't be as bad, um, Jalen would be so much, you wouldn't need a play by play guy cause Jalen talks so much, um. You know, it, it's. I did talk to them about, hey, hey, we're 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 a, you know, we're a marquee game on FS1, and it's a spotlight not just on me because the cameras are on me, but it's also on you guys in these huddles. You got to make sure every time a camera is on you, you don't need to be fake, but 
you need to film, as we always say, a commercial for yourself in a positive way. And uh, I thought they did that in the huddles, in the locker room. Um, so they, they were somewhat poised. You get, your, your guys have a couple streaks kind of going. Um, obviously, winning is what matters most, but Mash is now at three in a row, scoring 20. Five of his last six, he said 20. Um, I asked him, did something kind of change about six games ago that you've been so locked in offensively? And he said no, and I'll leave it at that. And that's what he said. Was he just like, didn't even want to talk about it. Um, have you seen anything that's changed with Mash about six games ago that he's been so locked in offensively? Mash is locked in offensively in any gym he walks into. Uh, that That is his mentality. Um, he is very proud because of how hard he works. Not not arrogant, but extremely confident. And, you know, there's so much false bravado on social media and all this talk. Mash works hard, therefore he's confident. Um, and if he misses a shot, he truly believes the next one's going in. And he is not going to – shy away from any of it um so no i mean I, I don't think there's been one thing he's he works his butt off i've had to try to tell him not to work hard at times to rest his legs but he's always going to bring it so I, I don't think there's been a whole lot of a difference in a quick follow-up then since on mash specifically is we all know about the mid-range shot and and i'm curious what some of his numbers are this year and, and i can get those but like he, he's a guy that is the only guy i see shooting i know you said kj can too he's the only guy really shooting any kind of volume mid-range shots do you guys even, as a coach, do you ever, how often do you def work on guys defending mid range? Because it looks like guys don't even know how to defend the mid range. Once he passes inside the arc, it seems like they're going to the rim. Well, I, w w I think we do a good job of running a variety of things that get him to that right hand um, and get him in a spot with a mid range. You know, so I can't speak on other defenses. I mean, we go against it every day. You know, when you have an elite guy like that, you know, my whole thing is always make mash pass, don't back up. Um, but, you know, hopefully whatever the defense does, we have a counter to it. Uh, but him going downhill to his right hand is really, really special. Um, and when we're setting great screens, we feel really good about it. And he's shooting the three ball better, too. Obviously, he hit one today and has been getting to the free throw line. I think we've asked you this before, but is he the best you've co coached as, as a mid-range? Oh, 100%. Yeah, assistant or head coach. Uh, I've not seen a guy that good at it. Do you even let guys shoot as many mid-ranges as he does? I always evaluate, we watch every shot, and we chart every shot, individually as well as collectively as a team. And if he's shooting a high percentage, I'm not going to be stubborn with it. Um, so analytically, a lot of people say, especially the NBA, that the three-point shot, because you can get offensive rebounds. I'm not sure I agree with it. It just depends on the guy. Um, with Mash, he has got the freedom to go do that. Coach, you guys had uh, 20 free throws made tonight. Ten of those came in the first half. I mean, how important was it just getting to the line and really executing? Yeah, I mean, we always want to put pressure on them uh, at the foul line, and a lot of that has to do with just our guards are pretty good off the bounce. Uh, but when you can get Mash and, and House to get to the foul line like they did, it puts them in foul, you know, foul pressure, so to speak. So uh, we're always talking about that. Um, and we got them into the bonus pretty early in the second half, and I thought that really helped. Anything else for Coach? Are we doing anything with Boise? Nothing before. Okay. So Friday night, I mean, they're, they're I have like, enough of media. Yeah, I know, I know you have. In fact, I hear you said during the game, do you ever pay attention to what I say? <laughs> no, you don't. Somebody yeah. tweeted that. So it sounded like a press conference. Um, <laughs> on Boise State, though, they're, they're in first place. Second. Yeah, I mean, I heard they won tonight. Um, I watched them versus San Jose. Um, Leon does, you know, I mean, I, we, we talk a lot about San Diego State, as we should, because they've won the most. But – uh, they're the conference champions. They're the conference tournament champions. Um, they've got Shaver's a terrific guard. Degenhart's really good. Um, so I'll dive in. I, I don't know much about them. Um, what I do know is I know it's a late game. Uh, we got to sell that out. We, we got to sell that out. That's a huge game for us. Um, obviously, quad one win opportunity. Obviously, a league game. Um, so hopefully those tickets fly off fast because – we continue to do what we're doing. It's going to build for future success. Uh, although we're all in the present moment of having a really good year, we, the, we keep selling to these recruits, these crowds, and these fans, and the environment. We're, we're going to continue to get great players like Jalen House and like Morris because they're going to want to be a part of something special. So Friday night's a great opportunity to do that.